So welcome to this class. We'd like to please come to lying down to start the class. So lying flat on your back, either with your legs extended or your feet on the floor. And taking a few moments to settle. A few moments for a brief weather check, just to notice what's here right now. The sense of the support beneath you. And how your body's feeling today. And the quality of a natural breath. And maybe any emotions or prevalent thoughts that have come with you to the mat. Simply welcoming in everything that's here as you settle to begin this practice. And then if your legs aren't already extended, please extend them. And with a full breath in, float your arms over your head to the floor behind you. And point your toes and reach with your fingers. And breathing out, float your arms back down again and release your toes. Please do that four more times with your own rhythm and your own breath, but allowing the breath to move you. You could breathe with a gentle ujjayi if that's part of your practice. And then one of these times, you lift your arms like you have been doing. But as you exhale and bring your arms back, bring your right knee with your hands into your chest. And have a little circle with that knee. The circles could be tiny, or they could be bigger. as you feel into the right hip socket. And then reverse the direction of the circles. And then please hold your knee right in towards you, draw in towards your armpit. As you push through the left heel, you could even lift the left leg a little off the floor, soften the face, breathe. And take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, lift your head to your knee. Take a full breath in here. And on the breath out, release your head. Keep your right knee where it is and stand your left foot on the floor. And then please take your right ankle over the left knee and your arms down by your sides. Breathing in. And as you breathe out with your hands down, lift your legs in towards you. And then breathe in here. 
And on the breath out, release your left foot to the floor. Breathing in, breathing out to lift. Breathing in, breathing out to drop. Last time, breathing in. And as you breathe out, bring in your legs to stay and thread the left hand through the gap in between your legs. You can interlace it with the, oh, excuse me, the right hand through the gap, excuse me. You can interlace it with the left hand on behind the thigh or over the shin. And maybe flexing the right foot to protect the knee tissues. And then see if you can draw your right knee a little bit closer in towards your shoulder and then your left knee as well. So you're hugging everything in a bit tighter. And then from here, release your right knee out ever so slightly. And see if you can come to a sense of your two sitting bones separating just a little bit. And you need length in the back of the neck. So place something under your head if your chin is jutting up. And then take a few full breaths here. Soft in the face. Soft in the throat. Taking a full breath in. And as you breathe out, lift your head and your legs in towards each other so you curl into a little bit of a ball. Breathe in here. And then gently release your hands as you release your head. So your left foot comes to the floor. And we come into a half happy baby pose where you take your right foot in your hand, taking the knee as far out to the side as it will go. And you want your right foreleg perpendicular with the floor. And you draw down on the foot. If you can't reach the foot, come lower down the leg. You pull a little as if your knee was going to reach the floor. Allow your left knee to just flop out to the side. Or maybe slide your leg long with the foot off the floor, with the leg off the floor a little out to the side. And you can have a little rock here. And breathe into this very deep opening into the right hip and the groin. We're trying to keep the pelvis stable on the floor. Take a full breath in. And then as you breathe out, please stand your left foot back on the floor and take your right ankle over the left knee again taking your arms out wide in a T-shape and floating your legs in towards you, breathe in. And then on the breath out, we take a, a funny little twist, take your legs to the left so that your right foot will find the floor. And then have a look over your right hand. And then soften into this twist as much as you can. Soften the belly, the face and the hips. Breathing freely. And then rolling your head back to neutral. And gently rolling your knees, legs back. And simply drawing your right knee into your chest. Slide the left leg long. Have a little circle again in that right hip. In one direction and then the other. And then release the leg 
down the mat and take a moment to feel the difference between the two sides. Breathing in, lift your arms over your head, point your toes, reach with your fingers. And on the breath out, bring your left knee in towards you with your hands. And have a little push through that right heel. As you circle with the left knee in one direction. Could be tiny circles, they could be a bit bigger, could be really slow or a bit faster. And then reversing the direction of the circles. And then holding your knee in towards your armpit, pushing through that right heel. Breathe here. Take a full breath in, and with the breath out, lift your head to your knee. Breathe in here. And then release your head. Please stand your right foot on the floor and place your left ankle over your right knee. Arms down by your sides, and you can flex the left foot if you want. Take a breath in when you're down here. And on the exhale, float your legs in towards you. Breathe in here. Exhale to come back down. Breathing in. Exhale to float up. Breathing in. Exhale to come down. Breathing in, exhale to float up to stay. Taking your left hand through the gap, either to hold the right hand over the back of the thigh or the shin. Make sure that your chin isn't jutting up so you can place something under your head. And then draw your left knee in, your right knee in as you come in closer to yourself. And from there, ease the left knee away ever so slightly separating your sitting bones and direct your breath into the space of your pelvis. Breathe. Taking a full breath in. And as you breathe out, gently lift your head and your legs towards each other. So you curl yourself up. Breathing in here. And then gently release. Your right foot comes to the floor and you take your left foot in your hand, easing the knee out to the side, foot towards the ceiling. Or hold the leg lower down if you need to. Half happy baby. So the right knee just falls out to the side or you slide it long and float it off the floor. Whatever feels good. You can have a little rock. Breathing here. Really push through that right heel if your leg is extended. See how you feel that up the inside of the right thigh, it's your psoas muscle. And then take a full breath in. And breathing out, replace the right foot to the floor and the left ankle to the right knee. And take your arms out in a T-shape, float your legs in towards you, breathe in. And then on the breath out, gently release your legs down to the right. Your left foot might find the floor and take your gaze over to the left. Breathing here. 
completely soft. And then bringing your head back to neutral, float your legs back up. And bring your left knee in towards you. And your right knee in towards you. And we'll end this little sequence with a full happy baby. So knees apart, both feet towards the ceiling, holding onto your feet or lower down the legs. And you can use your arms to separate, to push against the inside of your legs a little, to increase the sensation. And breathe here, having a little rock if that feels soothing to you. Take a full breath in. And then see if you can carry on holding to your, onto your feet as you bring your knees in towards each other, folding your legs so you're in a little bullet type shape, really hugging in tight. Breathe in and on the breath out, lift your head towards your knees and hold here for three breaths. Like a seed full of potential. Take a full breath in and then gently release. And take a moment with the whole body extended on the mat just to feel the residue from that little sequence. Maybe noticing that you feel different now from when you started. And we're going to come up to a seated position. So you could roll over to one side or you could roll up and down the spine. A few rounds, very good for the back until we come to meet in a cross-legged position if that's available to you. Or with your legs in a different position. And take a few moments to Feel your sitting bones to release down through your hips. I'm feeling this slight lift of the upper body out of the pelvis. So that sequence that we just did is actually very, very good for preparing the, the body for seated poses, whether it's full Padmasana or Lotus or a different seated position. So please take your fingers to the floor. And for a moment with your eyes closed, feel the fingertips in contact with the floor and feel your sitting bones. You feel really earthed, like a plug. And then when you're ready, allow the breath in to float your arms up. You can follow your hands with your eyes if that's right for you. And breathing out, float your arms down. Keep releasing down through the hips. Let's do that three more times. Breathe. Full breaths. And the next time you lift up on an inhale. On the exhale, come down to the left, either onto your hand or your forearm and reach over with the right arm, dropping into the right hip. 
Look down at the left hand and inhale, push yourself up. And exhale, come over to the right, drop into the left hip. And we'll do this a few times before we come to stay. So push yourself up to float from side to side. Accessing this whole of the side of the body. Consciously breathing into sensation. This time you come over to the left, come over to stay. And really drop into that left hip, try and right hip, try and drop the knee. And breathe into the right side of the body as you look past your armpit. One more full breath in. And then look down to the left on your breath out and breathe in to come up. And we'll come over to the right again for a few breaths. Consciously releasing through the left hip. Breathing into the left side of the body as you look past the left armpit. Take a full breath in, look down to the right on the exhale and breathe in to come up. And as you breathe out, look, turn your torso over the left thigh and come all the way down over the left thigh. And it would be normal for the right shoulder to be raised a little. So see if you can consciously drop that as you soften here. On a breath in, please come all the way up to the center. And your torso around to the right and breathe out, come over the right thigh, releasing down consciously in that left shoulder and hip. Breathe. On a breath in, come up to the front. And this time, as you breathe out, you come down the centre, but you're going to come up onto your fingertips so that you can really connect back with the sitting bones. Pushing a little and maybe swaying slightly from side to side and breathing here. Beautiful, breathing in, come all the way up. And as you breathe out, draw your hands down. Take a moment to feel your seat, feel your torso. Please change the cross of your legs. If they're crossed. And just one final part of this little sequence, breathing in to lift. And as you breathe out, take a twist around to the right with your left hand on your right knee and your right hand behind you. And I'd like you to soften into this twist rather than to really push it. So have a little wriggle around. And then on a breath in, see if you can lift up through the spine. As you breathe out, receive the twist around to the right. And take a few breaths here, feeling where there's obstruction, feeling where you can soften and inquire. Softening the face. And then breathing in, please come back to the front. And breathe out to the left for your twist to the left. 
So soften and wriggle before you consciously lengthen the spine on the breath in. And you breathe out to receive the twist to the left. Take a full breath in and then breathing out, simply release back to the front. And with your eyes closed, just take stock of how you feel now. Notice your breath, support beneath you. And then you can open your eyes to gently begin to tilt the pelvis forwards and open the chest. And exhale to draw back, pulling on your knees, front of the body drawing into the spine. Cat cow in a cross-legged position. I'm going to give you variations on this and you can decide how far you want to go. Carry on doing exactly what you're doing. Well, next time you pull back, you pull into half boat with your ankles crossed. You change the cross of your legs, come down. You could do a few of those. Another option is to come into half boat, but to uncross your ankles. Another option is to come into a full boat with your legs extended. Stay with the breath. And then a the final option is to add a cheeky little twist to your boat. So you come into boat, you take your legs in one direction, your torso and your arms to the other. Feel the side oblique muscles in the waist. You come back to the front and the other way. So whichever version you've chosen, or maybe you're doing them all. Take a few moments to explore the poses, breathing. And then taking a full breath in and the one that you're in. And as you breathe out, bring your hands to your knees, slide your feet to the floor and forwards, and allow your upper body to simply release forwards into a very floppy butterfly. And breathe here, allowing the whole body to soften. So we're going to come into a sequence that involves pigeon pose. If you have any injury in one of your knees, an alternative to pigeon is to come to a pose we've already done today where you take, you're on your back, you take your ankle over the opposite knee and you draw your legs in towards you. That's pigeon on the back. So from here, gently unroll your spine. Bring your knees together and come over into an all fours position and slide your right knee forwards or pigeon. And look over your left shoulder, slide the left leg long. Just make sure the left leg is straight and then bring your hands to your foot and your leg. It's a little bit awkward. 
want you to engage your lower belly as you lift a little bit up off the floor. Hold it here with this lift, inhale. And then as you exhale, melt down a little bit and come onto your forearms or even lower. Just to settle into pigeon, to accustom, to familiarise the hip. Sometimes it's good to flex the right foot, the right toes, just to engage the tissues of the right knee. Breathe and soften here. And then please bring your fingers out to the side so you're up on your fingertips with the elbows pointing to the ceiling. And see how this engages the muscles around your shoulder blades. And as you breathe in, begin to ripple up. Keep your chin into your chest until right at the last moment. You'll feel your pelvis float forwards. And breathe out, come down, Ujjayi breath if you want to. Breathing in to ripple up, really feel the back. And breathe out to come down. Breathing in to come up. And as you breathe out, have a little peek over your left shoulder. Allow the right side of the body, excuse me, right shoulder. Allow the left side of your body to float with you. And then you breathe in back to the front. Breathe out to come down. Breathe in to peel up. Have a little peek over the right shoulder as you breathe out. Left side slides with you. Last time, breathe in, calming down, peel it up, peek over the right shoulder, and then come back to the front and just come down for a few moments to settle here. And then please come up on your hands and walk your hands a little bit around to the left. You're going to curl under your left toes and swizzle for your right foreleg behind you. So you're standing on your right knee, which you can cushion if you want to. And then just allow the left foot to lift. So you're pressing into the left heel. And it's important here that you keep your torso straight rather than bending forwards and keep this right shoulder back so take a breath in and as you breathe out see if you can drop the left hand as you pull your left toes towards you the right hip will move to the right and then lift again and take a few rounds to really feel into the side body rather than drop that right shoulder forwards and you can involve your right arm when you're ready. Parigasana, gate pose. Lovely access into the hips, the side body. Requires core strength. One of these times, if it's right for you, come over to stay. Breathing consciously. On the next breath in, lift. And then please place your right hand down and the left foot down. And lift up the left arm. Inhale, really press into the parts of the body that are meeting the floor. And maybe you bring that left arm over your ear. You really want your right hand right under your right shoulder here. So you might want to stay here, it will be absolutely fine. 
You might like to pour your weight into the right hand and float the left leg up, reaching with the heel and the fingers simultaneously. Breathe. And if it's right for you, pulsing that left leg a little. Allow it to bounce a little. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, release the left foot down, bring your hip hand to your hip. And look down at the right hand. This, is, this part is not going to be for everyone. See how you get on. You're going to push into the hand and the left foot as you float up the right knee. And then you shoot the right leg through in front of you. Press into the foot and lift up your left arm. Breathe the front of the body open. Belly of the dragon. Taking a full breath in. And then release yourself back into a plank. Forearm plank or drop your knees if that's too much for your wrists. Take a full breath in. And then choose a way down to the mat that feels right for you. You can drop your knees. Come all the way down. Roll your shoulders up to peel up the chest. Inhale. And then curl your toes under and come to a downward dog. And take five breaths. Or rest in child if that feels better to you. Breathe the whole body open. And then looking towards your hands and walk or step your feet forwards. Take a moment here in a forward fold. And then pressing into your feet, come all the way up, inhale. And exhale, hands to your heart. Beautiful. And then taking a step, I don't know if it's your right foot or your left, so that you face me along the long side of your mat, feet wide apart. Turning the left foot in and the right foot out. Hands to your heart, torso lovely and straight, inhale. And as you exhale, bend into that right knee, float your arms out, eyes over the front fingers. And then inhale, come back again. And exhale, float, really release the shoulders, strong legs. One more time, inhale. And exhale to stay. Feel the pose from the inside out. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, release back again. Hands to your hips as you just step that left foot in ever so slightly, slightly shorter stance, strong legs as you reach, reach to the right, hips to the left. Inhale, exhale to hinge. You could have your hand to your shin or to a brick. And then look over your left shoulder as you consciously spin the chest. Maybe you float up the left arm for Utita Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Breathe. Take a full breath in. And then please look down, left hand to your hip and bend into that right knee. Step the left foot closer in again. And make sure that your right foot is straight and still as you place your right hand to the floor, beyond and to the right of the foot. You can begin to pour the weight into the right foot. You can come onto the left big toe. Some of you will be able to float the leg up. Really lifting from the inner thigh, turning the foot outwards. Maybe lifting the arm for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. 
breathe here. Take a full breath in, whole body alert and strong and awake. And as you breathe out, float that left foot back. Bend both knees and then come round to the front of the mat into a star. Breathe, breathe in the morning. Take a full breath in. And on the breath out, heels come out, toes in, hands to your hips and slowly come down. And you're welcome to bend into one knee and then the other. Beautiful. Taking lovely full long breaths here. Sitting bones easing apart. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Gently walk your hands around to the front of your mat to find your downward dog. And bring your left knee forwards for pigeon. Just checking over your right shoulder that the leg is straight, curling the toes under, hand to the foot and the knee, just to have a little lift, strong lower abdomen, inhale. And then exhale, come down. You can flex the left foot to protect the left knee. And really breathe and feel into the left hip, buttock, side of the thigh. Bring your fingers out to the sides, elbows pointing up. Really activate the muscles around the shoulder blades. And breathe in to peel up in your pigeon. Feel the pelvis floating forwards and breathe out to come down. And breathe in to come up. Lovely. And breathe out to come down. One more time, breathe in to come up. And have a little peek over your left shoulder, exhale. The right side of your body might slide with you. Breathe to the front and come down. Slowly ripple up. Peek over your left shoulder. Come back to the front and come down. We'll take one more. Consciously really feeling every millimeter of movement. And then as you come back to the front, come all the way down for a little rest here. And then we straighten our arms and walk our hands a little round to the right. Curl the right toes under and then swivel. To come up onto your left knee. Right toes are free, you're pressing into the right heel. You can always cushion that left knee. And keep your torso vertical, left knee, left shoulder back. Begin to reach down inside the right thigh towards the floor. Doesn't matter if you touch the floor. Pull your right toes towards you because that will help. And then you involve the left arm when you're ready. Feel the left side body. Beautiful. Maybe you come over to stay for a few breaths.
Take a full breath in. And then as you breathe out, look down, come all the way up. And take your left hand down, your right foot down. And lift up that right arm, maybe bringing it over the ear. As you really press into that right foot, make sure your left hand is directly under your shoulder. And if it's right for you, pull your weight into the left hand as the right leg floats up. Flex the foot and reach with the heel, reach with the hand. And maybe pump that right leg a little. Just a little bit. Take a full breath in and then release the foot down, hand to your hip. So you have this strong contact through the right foot and the left hand as you lift the left knee off the floor and shoot it forwards, maybe lifting the right arm, breathe. Taking a full breath in. Please find your plank or an all fours position. Find your way down to the mat. Peel into a little cobra. Downward dog or child. Breathe. Breathe fully. Feel the body now. Mine definitely feels better. And then walk or step your feet to your hands. Pressing into your feet, strong core. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, take a step around, face the long end of your mat. Wide stride, left foot out, right foot in. Inhale to your heart and then from here, open into worry two. Inhale to come back, it's like you're gathering. And exhale, really soften the shoulders, strong legs. Inhale. And then exhale, we come to stay in our Virabhadrasana two. Eyes gazing past the front fingers. Breathe here. Take a full breath in. And then as you breathe out, straighten the legs, hands to your hips, just to pop that back foot in a little. So you narrow the stance. Hug the leg muscles to the bone as you reach to the left. Hips float to the right and hinge. Only lifting up that right arm if that's right for you. Uttita Trikonasana. It's really important that you work the leg muscles here rather than just hang out. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, hand to the hip. Bend that left knee as you pop the right foot in a little. Check that the left foot is straight and still. And take your left hand to the floor, beyond and to the left. And just pop up onto that right big toe. It might be that that's where you want to stay today. Or possibly float up the leg. Lift from the inner thigh, turn the toes out. Maybe lift the arm. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Breathe. Take a full breath in and then float gently all the way back. Bend into both knees, come round to the front, find your star. 
breathe. And here you turn your heels out, your toes in, inhale and exhale, come all the way down. Maybe to hold your feet, maybe not. Looking in between your legs as you ease your sitting bones apart. Full breaths. Breathe that space into your pelvis again. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. And then ease your way back into the downward dog. Here you have a choice. You have a choice of resting in child, taking a few breaths in downward dog. Or maybe, because we haven't done a lot of vinyasa in this class, maybe you'd like to take a vinyl vinyasa, come forwards to plank, come down to the mat your way. Choose your back bend. Downward dog. We'll take a few moments in a child's pose before unwinding on the mat. Coming into your own softness here. Settling breath. And you could stay longer if you're at home and you want to rest here. Otherwise, gently coming up and extending your right leg, the left knee in. And you can always place a block under the left knee. And we're going to just from in sitting come into more side bending. It's very refreshing, very good for the spine, great for the breath. So just like you were doing before, keep the left shoulder back and then begin to slide that right hand towards the foot, but not actually touching it. And then come back again. And slide. Look over your left shoulder. Come back again. And this time, maybe use the left arm. You could keep moving or I feel like staying here now. It's up to you. You could hold on to the big toe, push through that heel. Maybe take the left hand behind your head. It's quite nice to keep the chest open. Keep softening into the left hip. It might be holding tight, let it go. And taking a full breath in, as you breathe out, look down and bring your left hand to the floor in front of you. Let go of the right foot and begin to slide or circle that left hand out in front, round and behind you. And then you push into that left hand to come up. Push into that right foot. Breathe the body open. Inhale. And then exhale, gently come down. And bring your right leg over the left. If this isn't available to you, extend the left leg. Left elbow around the right knee. Inhale to lift the right. And on an exhale, take a little twist around to the right, but softly. And if you know how to bind in this Ardha Matsyandrasana, of course, go ahead. I'm not going to today. Breathing in length, breathing out to twist. Take 
take a full breath in and then gently release back to the front and we'll take that to the other side, left leg extended, right knee bent. Just holding that right shoulder back as you slide a little towards the left foot and come back again. Slide, it's a side bend. Come back again. Maybe involving the right arm. Maybe continuing to move or coming down to stay. Keep releasing into the right hip and breathe. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, look down and sweep that right hand around shoom, behind you and then press into it to lift in such an elegant pose here. Breathe the body open. Full breath in. And then gently release yourself down to bring the left leg over for that little twist, half Lord of the Fishes pose. You could extend the right leg if you need to. Lift up through the left, inhale. And take a little twist to the left. Feel your way. Binding if you know how. Breathe. Take a full breath in. And then please release out to the front. And we'll end before Shavasana with a very simple neutral forward fold. You could have your legs together or apart. I just want to have a symmetrical pose to end with. So and your knees could be bent if you wanted. So breathing in, lovely, bright torso, and then breathe out, release forwards. Softening the back of your ribs. And allow your exhalations to take you deeper. Again, at home, you could stay here for as long as you like. When you're ready, you're going to roll up slowly. And bring yourself back down to the mat. And maybe something else you feel you need right now before you're ready to settle. And come to lying down, maybe knees over a bolster or legs extended. And have a beautiful few minutes setting your attention free in Shavasana to rest and to observe what bubbles up here. Thank you very much for practicing with me.